Nick Real Talk Boxing here. I'm here with Thomas Lamana. So, first, tell me about your promotion. What do you got going on? So, this is our sixth show. We're now at the Harrods. We started like late 2015. In 2016, we just exploded. We needed to get five shows, you know, four shows then. Uh, one in late December of 15, and then it's our sixth show. You know, so uh, we're ripping and running. The players have been great to us, been great to me personally. I've been fighting for them. And um, you know, yeah, 2017 is the live show. Let them know if you guys are fighting or whatever. Um, it's not big. What's it like having a promotion and also fighting? That's it. it's fun, man. I love it. You do. I love it. I, I love the every every day something different. It's really true when people say you can't make this stuff up in boxes. It goes on the box, you can't make it up. And I learned something every day about myself, about rising star, about other people, and um, it's, it's great. Man, boxing is like any way, shape, or form, in the ring, outside of the ring. It's just me. I love it. What made you start a promotion? Um, I felt as though my, to be honest, I felt as though my career, like, I don't like really going off my of all the time. Like, I'm really like, I want to get it done. Okay. So, after I saw my first loss, I regrouped, I beefed off a lot of stuff. I took a lot of time off of boxing, outside of the gym. And I just had time to think, so you know what? Once I get back, I'll quit. I'm going to get back in there, I'm going to get back in the hall. So, me and my mother, we sat down, I was like, Mom, I've asked you a lot of stuff in my life. Now I'm asking you this one. We talked about it, and she said, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm going to feel So my mom is, no doubt, my lifetime partner. Regardless in, in the Gary Fire C, that's my mom. She's the five star, you know, she's the president. She's the, she's the, we got the head boss. Yeah, man, but the, honestly, just to keep me on a consistent flow, like, and then when I started riding stuff, I fought on the first two shows. I fought on the three shows that I did, and then I promoted two. It was by myself. And this would be my, like, this is going to be my fourth time fighting. Um, and it's great, man. Like, it's cool. It's so we're about eight days away from your fight. What's your name, man? Great time yeah. today. Training, sparring, yeah. skip the yeah. inside. So, yeah, okay. yeah sparring usually three times a week. I train twice a day. And sometimes, you know, uh, when I say training, sometimes it's like strength conditioning, cool. running, uh, obviously my floor work, my gym work. And then um, it was great, man. It's seven weeks so I just I get back to flow. And obviously, my last fight was going away. Um, yeah. Tough fight, lots of times. It's a short title. That camp was crazy. So, but it taught me so much more. Well, I, I learned from that, and I grew so much from that. Camp. And, uh, so, um, I brought that into this camp, and I'm just going to put it up. What's your least favorite part about fighting? Um, you get the friends, you get the running, you get the diet. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm just an athlete, and I, and I, and I like to conduct myself as a pro. I'm not going to do some fun. I'm going to do some fun. I'm going to do some fun. And uh, so, you know, I'm always running, I'm always in the gym, I always keep, you know, uh, in shape and everything, but definitely the diet, man. It's so much. Yeah. yeah. Like, I look at this right there, man, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, I don't know. This fight's at 154, so I'll move like it's just like kind of like get back. I, don't, I never call two of us. So I'm gonna like kill myself and get the 47. But I was saying that. Your opponent's very experienced. He's 25 and 24. Did you get a chance to study in the camp? Did you study in the tape? Or are you just gonna go in there and do what you want? No, because I don't really. I mean, I seen him fight. He fought for me. He fought for Isaac Strong against Juice Young. Man, it was Juice Young. Uh, Two shows ago, the last in July, when I when I fought uh, the last time. Uh, seen him fight Juice, I was like, no, it's a dope guy. Like, cool. so that's the only time I really ever seen him. Other than that, I don't really watch him on TV. If I didn't see him, I would really look for like a clip or two. Because in a fight, man, she's never the same. I've been looking for six months. And how did the fight come about? You approached him or? Yeah, uh, we all had him over there. He was the matchmaker. You know, just talking, talking. You know, I have one goal. I don't match my own fights. I mean, I mean, I like, damn, I made all their fights. I mean, I, I love doing that. I will make my own fights. You know, I mean, my father, you know, gets behind me and, you know, this performance, my personal promoter, Jim Ponzi. You know, gets behind me and stuff. So, but I did mention the name to Renee. Uh, I'm like, oh, my God, the guy just fought. Like, he probably could work. And then they put it together. She got a hold of him. My, my father worked in the office. 
sign the contract? What kind of fans expect to see next fight? Woo! Yeah. Predictions, you know, fireworks. You know what? I, I don't want to sit here and say like no predictions. Obviously, a win. I trained too hard. You know, but my intensity after coming uh, off my last fight is just like I gotta get back and boxing. Normally, as good as the last fight. In my last fight, I lost. So it's like I don't like that feeling. I don't care, you know, how good of a fight it was in you guys. Maybe you know, I'm close to them. I lost. I'm good. Tell me, what is that? Got the, it was a great fight you know, and I was so it's like I, I don't like that feeling. You know? So uh, what can they expect, man? I'm, I'm back, you know, all my fans, and I got like uh, some people watching that. I'm very blessed with my, my, my fan base and my support team. So uh, I'm not gonna let it like get the best of me, you know what I mean? This is my 24th fight now, so I don't know how to like not let the crowd fight in my everything. But um, and me just being me. Me is my second fight with my new trainer, Ray Klein. We worked on a lot of things. This camp was a lot better and easier than the first one because we were still learning each other. And now, January 28th, we're just going to see a new improvement. And I know fighters don't want to look too far ahead, but let's say this fight goes the way it's supposed to go. What's next? I mean, motion wise, fight wise. Well, March 11th is the next show here at the Gladys. Yeah, I'm um, over there. Yeah. I'm over there. I'm over there. I'm over there. I don't know. I doubt I'm going to fight on that because, like, it's like seven weeks after. It's not really a fight. You know, I expect to go some rounds. Obviously, with a knockout round, it's cool. But I expect to go around with this guy. He's only been stopped six times in the 24 hours. And he went with Carlos Valdez. Big name, big punch down with some time. Even in the first fight back, he's a big punch. I expect to go around. I'm not exactly like that. I'm not going to like that. So I'm going to go around. Okay. But it's like a seven week camp. I was going to go around. I don't know what's going to be next for me. We definitely have to go around. I'm going to go around. Right after this fight, the next Monday, I'm back in my zone and I'm going to go around. Best of luck with promotions, best of luck with your career. Awesome, man. Thank you for your time. It's your Rocks here, Thomas Lamana. We'll talk about it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it again. Good luck, man. Opportunity for sure.